Hi everyone, today I'm going to cover how to learn a song by ear. Today I'm going to cover Tame Impala's Feels Like We're Only Going Backwards or Feels Like We Only Go Backwards. Uh, I've never tried to play the song so I'm going to play it and then try and play it back. Um, and we're also going to cover how to cover it just because it's not a... Um, it's a, let's call it a rock song. So there's a verse and a chorus, but it's not an accordion song. So we'll also cover the different playing styles um, and we'll go through that together. So let's give it a try. I'm just going to listen to it and try and figure out the key, major, minor, and what kind of musical principles apply in this song. Da, 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 da. Maybe it's an F major. Right. Is that what he was singing? So what 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 happened there? I'll turn my chair a little bit. So I'm trying to figure out the key of the song, right? So based on what the person is singing, I'm trying to match it up. Um, so it sounded like he was singing. Right, and that's our ear training exercise, where I play something and you play it back. Now, once we know that, right, I'm trying to complete the chord. So, is it major or minor? So, the A can be a part of an... It sounds like a major. So, that's an F major. Because that fits. What else can the A be a part of? The A can be a part of a D major, but if I play a D major, no, that's not what the song is. The A can be a part of uh, A minor, not really. The A can be a part of a D minor, no, nope. but the A can be a part of the F major. Right? That's our F major. So, the song's an F major, we know that it's a major, and let's get let's call that our one. Now, musical principles. We know that songs typically, songs can go from the one four five or the one five four. This song, just because I know it in my head, I'm trying to figure out and apply those musical principles. Um, one five four. And I think that that's correct. So I've just been working on my right hand. Let's switch over to the left hand to see what the bass of the song does. So it goes to a G minor, which is cool, right? So F major to C major to G minor. What's G minor? G minor is the minor two from the one. So the song form is one, five, minor two. Now the minor two is really, now we're getting to a bit of theory. We look at the four, if we were to do a ba 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 ba, the four, the B flat, is really similar to the G minor. It's a one note difference. The four major is the B flat, D, F, right? The G minor is a G, D, B flat. It's a very subtle, it's a, it's a difference of one note. Major. Minor. So, I think there might be interchangeable, right? So, it feels like... That's what's played in the song. It sounds similar to... Let's see what, what else happens. 
where the song goes. Whoa, okay, so that's, it goes into the verse. So the chorus, the main lick, the main riff of the song is F major, C, G minor. And I, I'm not familiar with the rest of the song, so let's try and figure it out by ear. Something that I'll do later, or if I wasn't doing a video and I would just be trying to figure it out myself, is trying to figure out the musicality of it. Right now I'm just sustaining those chords. I would try and... Right? See what fits. That sounds nice, right? The legato. Uh, can also do. Well, it's a little bit less so, but again, you could choose which rhythm and what your left hand does will dictate the rhythm of the song. Let's figure out this verse. It's in D minor. I'm just not familiar with the song. Sounds like he goes to the... So the song switches to D minor, right? Imagine that this is our one. We've kind of switched from the F, we've walked down three to the D minor. Now, again, applying musical principles, if the D minor is now our one, most songs will go to the four or the five. This song happens to go to the four, the major four. So from the D minor to the four. I think that's what it is. Maybe, let's go back a few seconds. Sounds right. That's the D minus. Yeah, right? So, I, I don't know the verse. Maybe it goes to the chorus. Feels like we're only oh, Let's see. Yeah. And then they go to the minor, is that true? Yeah, so that's the song. So what do they do? They go from D minor to G, D minor to G. And then they go, the, I think the last half verse, they do a G minor so that they can connect to a C major. Back to chorus. Right, and I, and I don't know the song so well. Um, and then the verse. So the verse again was D minor. G. And then D minor, D minor, G. Stay on the G, they went to G minor. Now, how do you come back to the F? You could jump straight to the F, or you could do this walk down, right? We were in D, G, 
C. Let's give a C7. Feels like I'm... And again, when you do a 7, you need to resolve back to the 1. So this is a f the 7 of the 5th. If I knew the verse better, I'd be able to do the, the, the rhythms a bit better, but... I would still do this hop. With a legato for the chorus. Let's see if the song does anything else different. Just gonna fast forward a bit. does this over and over again. Yeah, so, so fairly straightforward, fairly easy song. Um, have a listen, give it a try yourself. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.